It's interesting, and I'm just thinking about my own personal use of, say, Amazon. They're still not very good at predicting books and things that I would actually like to read. Um, and, and I, I still, is this a personal statement? It is, but I mean, it, it comes down to the, I mean, how, how close are we to those things actually being uh, sort of more useful than annoying? I remember there was that article in the Wall Street Journal a few years ago, my TiVo thinks I'm gay, where the, the TiVo was sort of, because <laughs> they'd watched some weight, weightlifting contest at some point. It was recording all these rather dubious programs. I mean, are we still at that phase, or are we actually going to be able to get to this quite quickly, where we're actually getting really useful I think, I think, you know, from my perspective, it also depends on how we as users exercise our right with the data, right? You know, if you're, if you're good about actually telling Amazon what your taste in books is changing over time, because nothing is static, things change with data, um, I think there's, a, there's also a learning mechanism that you have to build in on both sides. We offer underestimate uh, the user input of the data and the value that we can bring in, right? And I think that is something also that I think will develop as a science. I think today we look at preferences as a static thing. Uh, any social network I use to, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or whatever, I'll go and set my preferences or these are the, my likes and you know, this is who I am. Uh, but those change and I'm not very good or disciplined about changing that. And I think it, it's also what we input and how that data gets transferred. Just, just to finish this Amazon example, the guy who used to run the analytics for Amazon now is part of my Green Plum team. Right. Uh, so curiously, um, and uh, we just gave a demonstration, right, of actually taking a, a whole set of uh, data uh, that used to take them about twice a day they could run analytics on. Now they're running it about twice a minute. Right. So as we hit some of these things, right, you know, many of these things are actually, you know, fairly simplistic today when they give you those recommendations. In the future, it's going to be a real time analytics analysis that's being done over a very broad set of data that's highly personalized. So I think we're actually very close to being able to fix your book problem. Mm -hmm.